All right, so now let's go get SQL Server. And as we're going and getting it, I'll explain what it is and what it does. Um, so I'm actually, where, where would Microsoft have SQL Server? I'm just gonna start off just Googling. Microsoft SQL Server download even. Let's see what comes back. Okay, so you always skip the ads, but that is Microsoft.com slash SQL Server um, slash download. Works for me. All right, so this looks like a pretty official page. It's from Microsoft. And it's to go get uh, the SQL Server. Now, a lot of different flavors and editions of SQL Server, which we can get into on a different topic. Right now, let's just go get it. So SQL Server is Microsoft's database where we store data that we're going to use with our applications. Um, we want to go get the developer edition, which is free. So SQL Server 2017 developer, and it is free. So I'm going to go ahead and kick this off and we'll talk about it. Um, so down here at the bottom, what do you want to do with the exe? I'm just going to run it to do the install. And yes, to allow it to make changes on my computer. And let's see what comes up here. I don't need the web page anymore. I'll close that. Okay. Basic custom download media, basic installation of the SQL Server database engine. Now the engine is what allows you to have that running on your local. There's a front end tool that a lot of SQL Server people use called SQL Server Management Studio that is the front end, whether you have a local engine on your um, personal computer or you're using a database that's on a server or in the cloud or somewhere else, you're gonna use the SQL Server Management Studio, but we need the engine on your local or we want the engine on your local machine so you can do things in isolation just on your own um, before doing our cloud whatnot. So custom steps you through, allows you to choose this, that, and the other. Um, let's just go basic, keep it simple. And click yes to accept the update. Uh, again, I'm a big believer in letting it have its default location unless you've got some compelling reason to want to put it somewhere else. All right, so this is going to take a couple minutes. Uh, so we will, um, I'll pause and pick it up at the end of this so we're just not sitting here watching the grass grow. Okay, a few short minutes later, here we are at this screen. Installation has completed successfully. Um, it's got all the places where it wants to put things. And we could connect now, but I mentioned SSMS, SQL Server Management Studio. You would think, why do I have to install something? Didn't it already install? It installed the engine, but SSMS, which is a free download um, for anyone, um, it's the front end that is most used to connect to and work with it. So let's make sure that we have that as well. Um, how do I want to keep this open? What does that mean? I don't know. I'm just going to click OK. And oh, it takes me somewhere else for the for the SSMS download. OK, so download SSMS 18 GA general availability. Make sure we're on a Microsoft site or at least someone we trust. And that does seem to be the right link here. So let's. Um, Go ahead and click that guy. Down here at the bottom, I'm just going to go ahead and run it. Like waiting water for water to boil. Come on. There we go. All right, yes to allow it to make changes to your machine. All right, again, default install location unless you've got some big reason against it. I don't need this web page anymore, so I'm going to close that. think this should take very long but I'll go ahead and oh, yeah I'll go ahead and pause it we'll catch up when it's done 
All right, so that took a little longer than I thought it would, and it's saying restart, which you would think, oh, just hit it. But hang on, because we want to make sure that the other install, the main engine, we, there wasn't anything else with that before we just hit this. So down here, you see we have two active things open. So I'm going to just go back to this one. Okay, so I could click close. We'll come back and connect after um, it does the restart. So I'll close that guy. Well, yeah, I want to exit it and then do the restart. All right. So we'll catch back up after this comes back up. All right, came back up. So let's uh, click the start button and then I'm just going to type SSMS and it found it right away. And like I like to do, I'm just going to go ahead and pin it to start and then pin it to my taskbar and then launch it. <clears throat> let's just make sure we're into it before we end this lesson. So. Again, Management Studio is independent of there being a database engine on your local machine. It's just a front end as an application that can then hook into Azure databases, databases on other servers, or your local database if you happen to have one. But since you chose SQL uh, Developer Edition, that gives you the engine locally. And I'm guessing it's taking an extra long time now because it's a first time install. It also might have to do with the fact that it's such a fresh Windows 10 install too. It's probably still indexing some things. Okay. Well, pop up already. Okay. And it comes up with this here as far as uh, looking for a server name. So that's just the name of this machine here, uh, which that would work. Um, Windows authentication. If I hit connect, you then see over here databases security we we're, we're into our we're into our uh, management studio looking at our local environment so end of the install and config and we'll pick up with actually doing some with something with it in the next lesson